Hi, and welcome to this video, where we take a look at line, circle, and blob detection. Okay, so what exactly is line detection? Well, there are two main algorithms for line detection, and those are half lines and probabilistic half lines. And half lines, basically, this is the function here in OpenCV. So we take in the input as a binarized image, and then we have this row accuracy and theta accuracy and a threshold. So the threshold here is a minimum vote that it needs to be considered for a line. So consider this a sensitivity marker. All right, and we'll take a look at the other values when we start using the algorithm in OpenCV. Now let's take a look at probabilistic offlines. Now probabilistic offlines is a bit different, where it's a bit more complex in that it takes like a random vote samples from the image of the line so that it can actually determine whether it's a line. So it's a little bit more accurate and you can actually just toy with these two in OpenCV to see which you prefer. All right, so the idea is that actually exactly as I said, to take a random subset of points sufficient enough for line detection and also returns the start and endpoints of the line, unlike the previous function which has returns the line itself. So now let's take a look at circle detection. So don't worry, by the way, if you're confused a bit by those half lines parameters and stuff, what we'll do, computer vision is always, even though you need to understand the maths and the theory, which helps immensely, it's also a very practical kind of like an art toying with different methods and parameters and stuff. So you can actually see what works best. So circle detection. So this is an example of circle detection here where it highlights circles of these bottle caps. So we use another Hoff algorithm called Hoff circles. And this is the Hoff circles algorithm, cv 2 circles, where you have the image and a bunch of different input arguments here. So the method here, where we only have Hoff gradient available, DP stands for inverse ratio of the accumulator resolution, minimum distance between the centers of detected circles. These are always like good parameters depending on the image domain you're looking at. When I say image domain, depending on the type of image or type of circles you want to detect, you can have a lot of like false positives or you want to increase the sensitivity to get them, okay? Now parameter one is the gradient value used in the edge detection. Parameter two is the accumulator threshold for the half gradient method. And lower allows for more circles to be detected, which is false positives. Here we describe the minimum radius, which is basically the minimum radius of the size of the circle we want to pass as a circle, and the max radius similar as well, okay? So what about blob detection? So blobs can be described as groups of connected pixels that all share a similar common property. And what I mean by that is that they can all share the same size, same pattern, same shape, same color attributes, and to do this, we use OpenCV's simple blob detector. So now this is the input stage to the processing pipeline of the blob detection. It creates the detector, all right? You'll see this in our code shortly. Then we have the input image and feed the input image into the detector. It obtains the key points and then we draw the key points over the blobs that it detected. And this is an example of how the blob detection works on these daisy flowers here. Pretty cool, isn't it? So what have we learned in this video? We've learned basically types of line detections, which is one half probabilistic lines. We've learned about circle detection using half circle, and we've looked at blob detection as well. So now let's take a look at the practical part of this video, which is using line, circle, and blob detection in OpenCV. Thank you.